Hey, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and welcome to Game 141 Recap. The Astros lose to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim 4-2 in an uneventful game that was only interesting in the bottom of the ninth inning. Now, before I get on to the game, it's the 20th anniversary of 9-11, which is a day that brings about so many emotions for everyone. Um, this is a very important day in U.S. history, especially modern U.S. history. Uh, the it's an infamous day. Uh, I, I really don't know how else to describe it. Everyone knows about it. There's nothing to, you, you guys know everything that I know. It's a day that we spend mourning the 2,977 needless deaths of innocent American citizens. It is a day to mourn the ones that were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The innocent lives that had no idea was about to transpire that morning, as well as honor the heroics of the ones that did know, the police officers, the firefighters, the paramedics who knew the situation and the severity of what was going on in the Twin Towers and still said, I have a job to do. And in an act of heroism and bravery that I will never be able to comprehend, uh, let alone achieve, went into a seemingly insurvivable situation to do what was right and to save people. Uh, I wanted to include something and so i thought fitting since i talk only about sports on here uh i thought i would link a video for the uh sports center feature uh the man in the red bandana which is about wells crother who was a lacrosse and hockey player turned stockbroker turned hero on 9 11 who saved two large groups of people and helped lead them to firefighters before uh tragically dying in the collapse of the South Tower. It was a great video by ESPN. It's only about 13 minutes long, and I highly recommend it, and I will link it in the description. Now, with that out of the way, um, the game was pretty uneventful. Uh, Angels hopped on the Astros early, uh, scoring four runs by the third inning, and the Astros barely fought back at that point. Uh, the next bit of fighting for the Astros was in the fourth with a force out. Big whoop there. And then basically the only thing that happened after that was the ninth inning. And maybe because I've been spoiled with the Astros this season, and we all have, uh, the ninth inning happened, and for a second there, I really thought we were going to win. Uh, Correa grounded out, Tucker singled, then after that, Jake Myers drew a walk, and you have runners at the corners, and you kind of get hopeful. Garrett Stubbs comes up, and he freaking smacks one. He cracked it off the bat to left field, hit off the Crawford boxes. It was an RBI double. You got runners in, at second and third. Tying runs on second, Altuve's coming up to the plate, and maybe I'm greedy, maybe I'm foolish, but I kind of, that one was like, oh, he's just going to hit a walk-off home run. That's, that's, what I'll, that's what Altuve does. That's what he does in clutch situations. Sadly, no such luck. We did not get to win. But it was, it was just a meh game, and there's really no other way to put it. The offense wasn't good. Two for eight with runners in scoring position and nine men left on is not a good number. The pitching wasn't great from Luis Garcia, but it wasn't, like, pitiful. Uh, four runs in five innings. I mean, that's not great. Three strikeouts, only gave a pair of walks. I mean, it wasn't good. It, it was a bad night for Luis Garcia. I'm not, I'm not, you know what happened. Brandon Belak pitched really, really well. Uh, three innings, gave four base runners. Started to lose track towards the end there, but he looked solid. Got a strikeout. I have no real qualms with him. Blake Taylor looked good. Ending of work. Got a strikeout. Didn't allow any base runners. That's a positive. It's just sort of a bland game where, yeah, stuff happened, just not a ton of it. It, it was just kind of rough, man. It was a... It seemed like... It, it simultaneously seemed as if it drug on forever and yet was over in a flash, if that makes any sense. It was very strange. And there's just really not that much to go into. There's not a ton to go in depth on offensively or defensively. I suppose the only thing really worth note is the fact that Jordan Alvarez is a monster and I believe now has reached base in eight consecutive plate appearances to start this series. Uh, he was two for two tonight with two walks. And I believe one of them, yeah, was a double. Like, he's... Jordan Alvarez, man. He is just fun to watch, isn't he? I freaking love Jordan Alvarez. I'm so happy he's on our team. I'm so happy we get to watch him for the future. We need to lock him up soon. That That's the thing that you, I would rather not have him hit even the second or third year of arbitration. I just want to get him locked up. This guy could go 
anywhere and get any amount of money with the way he hits. And I, I could just gush about the guy for an hour about how incredible the guy is hitting wise. Anyway, that was really it. It's not a lot to talk about. Um, tomorrow's going to be eventful because the Astros play at two, playing the Angels. Uh, we're playing. We're, we're putting Lance McCullers on the mound, my favorite pitcher. He rolls in with a three one nine ERA, pretty solid, pretty good. Uh, they send Jeremy Barria to the mound. He rolls in with a five point one six ERA. Hopefully, we can jump on him. And also, it's the first Jets game of the season, so I'm gonna be watching that as well. So. Tomorrow's video probably isn't going to be as crazy good in depth as I'd like it to be for the Astros game because I love the Astros and I love McCullers and I am going to pay attention. I am going to watch it, but I am probably going to be glued to the Jets television screen watching the debut of Zach Wilson. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you guys. I am, I have yet to make a Jets recap video on this channel where I'm in a good mood and I'm really hoping tomorrow can be the first one. I'm really hoping that tomorrow can be a video that I'm in a good mood for, hopefully for both games. Hopefully I'm ecstatic about Zach Wilson and sad about something Lance McCullers did. That'd be great. You know, the Jets win, McCullers throws like seven innings of one-run baseball or less, gets a ton of strikeouts. That'd be awesome. Tomorrow could be a really good day. Or if it goes really poorly, a really bad day. So I'm, I'm, I'm holding out hope that at the very least one of my teams win. Like either the Ranger, no, the Rangers don't play tomorrow. The Jets, the Astros, maybe my fantasy team, something. I got. I, I, if all three of my teams lose tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, depresso on this video, and I don't think any amount of espresso could fix that. Anyway, I'm rambling for no reason. I'm just going to cut it. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, game starts at 2.10 Eastern, 1.10 Central, by the way. And I'll be here afterwards. So thank you all so very much for watching. Um, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Strohs.